Mierda. This place makes my eyeballs itch. Carving monsters, huh? Didn't figure you for an artist. This? It's by necessity. If you know your enemy, their weak spots, maybe you live another day. Well, when the army of miniature monsters invade, we'll know how to beat them. Size is nothing. A Rygar can ruin your day with one bite. The poison swells your brain. Ah, oh, that could explain Solus. Standard bestiaries are always some mage drawing things they've never seen, taking the piss out of it. They don't understand how when the hunt ends and you come nose to nose with an ogre, someone's going to die. So I'm making the real Monster Hunter manual. Who are you doing it for? Balmor, that imbecile in Tebinter, lecturing on things he doesn't know about. And Ludric, over in Ravain, thinks taking a rock wraith down with a lucky shot makes him a champion. What do you care? Jealous? Of course not. I just think the experts should have some actual expertise. Tosh could learn a thing or two. Ooh, ouch. I get it, she knows dragons. But what about fighting a Sylvan or a Dartmonger? Don't tell me I'm using the wrong blade. Sounds like a fun read. I'm in. You have to buy it first. Where's the gloom howler? Can't carve it till I know what it is. You want a piece of the howler, boy? Is he ready? Was I ready the first time I fought a herlock? Well, he's still alive. I got my ass handed to me. Broke four ribs and cracked my jaw. Then I got back up and drove a blade through its skull. In this line of work, Asan and I are only as strong as the quarry we hunt. Makes sense. He'll learn to fight by fighting. I don't know another way. Out there in the world, you sink or swim. Can a half lion, half eagle swim? Don't know. Asan? Which half was that? Search me. Both halves share the same stomach. <laughs> right. I'll see you around. <laughs> <laughs> 